Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Strife Tech, and I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. Is it worth your time? On trial today, Little Nightmares 2. Released in February of 2020, Little Nightmares 2 is a single-player adventure or horror game made by Tarsier Studios. This is the same company that created the previous Little Nightmares game. They've also created Stretchers on the Nintendo, Static, a PSVR exclusive, and Tearaway Unfolded for the PS4. If you've played the first game, you know exactly what you're getting into. Otherwise, you're in for a confusing, bizarre, and scary treat. It's said that a picture is worth a thousand words, and this game takes that to heart. There is no dialogue. The story is purely visual and yours to interpret as you go. You're given a basic grasp of what's going on, but a lot of the who and why will be left up to your own interpretation. And even your interpretations and assumptions could differ wildly to someone else who's played this game. The developers give this little snippet in the summary of their game. You play as Mono, a young boy trapped in a world that has been distorted by an evil transmission. Together with your new friend Six, you set out to discover the source of the transmission. And honestly, that's all I want to say about the story too. It's part of the experience that needs to remain unspoiled. There's nothing groundbreaking or new here. They have some basic puzzles, sneaking, and something akin to combat. I did run into a few frustrating parts where if you didn't proceed exactly as you should, you'd die and have to start over, and the pseudo-combat movements felt rather clunky. Now, it wasn't really combat, but if you didn't do the right thing at the right time, you were dead. So almost like a quick time event, but not. However, with each death, you learn something new and you're able to move further along next time. But what shines here is how the gameplay continues to tell the story. Nothing feels out of place and it's all creepy. I'm pairing these together because they play off of each other so well. Every frame is impeccably detailed and perfectly pairs with the sound effects or music in that moment. Sometimes too much so. So, is it worth your time? Yes. I'd also recommend playing it enough to get the hidden ending. It'll help answer a couple of questions, but not really. The biggest downside to this game is the length. It clocks in at about three to seven hours. And this is a downside because I wanted more game. Now, this is the main reason I haven't showed much of the game, and I haven't spoke much about it, really. I don't want to ruin this game for you. So, go buy it. It was a creepy, delightful treat. My name's been Strife Tech, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, feel free to click that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Is It Worth Your Time?